We begin with breaking news out of Miami Gardens, where police say multiple people have been shot. One witness tells us this was a popular artist midi uh, music video gone wrong. We have team coverage for you tonight, starting with CBS 4's Gabrielle Arzola, who has been at the scene for a few hours now. And Gabby, what have you been able to find out? Lauren Elliott, what police tell us right now is that multiple people were shot. And this is what the scene looks like. Still dozens of cars still here. But witnesses tell me that this scene is much more complex. I'm told that the rapper French Montana was shooting a music video right behind this KFC parking lot. And I'm told while there, suddenly someone in their crowd got their Rolex and car keys stolen. But the group decided to continue. And that's when they went across the street to the licking, which is owned by by famous DJ Khaled. They were in the parking lot, and that's when we were told that multiple gunshots were heard striking many people. Here is what one witness has to say. So we did what was logical. We took cover too. We ducked down to cover. Um, people started running. Um, some people was running by with blood on their shirt. Some people was crying on the ground asking for help. Um, it's, it's nothing you can do out there. You know, people, I just feel sad for them that they're on the floor crying. Certainly very frightening. Again, none of this has been confirmed by police. This is all witness testimony thus far, but we've been here for several hours. We've been working the scene, and we have heard a lot of, of the similar things that he's been saying. But, of course, we will continue to be here bringing you any updates as they come. Guys. Gabby, thank you for that update. Our team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Naja Sherman. Naja is standing by right outside the Ryder Trauma Center, Jackson Memorial Hospital, with more on the victims. Naja? Elliot, details are very limited at this time, but we are hearing there could be several victims in this case. One source tells us there could be as many as 10 victims, but we are working to confirm that information right now because it's still very early on in the investigation. But our crews have been here staking out the scene, and our cameras were rolling and captured video of a chopper leaving. We're hearing that as many as four victims could be here at Ryder Trauma Center receiving treatment. We have also learned that the victims were taken to various hospitals here in South Florida. Some were able to drive themselves.